you mm. is the problem. How do we solve it? Yeah. For me, I think the problem is uh, the problem is fundamentally the lack of courage to tell the truth. That is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. Um, some people say, oh, it's all about economic incompetence. But the truth of the matter is that no matter how competent you are, if you do not have the courage to do what is right, you will crash any economy. Mm. You will crash the economy. Let's say it this way. Kwame, you, you, let's say you are a father. Mm -hmm. You have a family. Mm -hmm. Your income, let's assume, is just 1,000 cities. Mm. And so that income of 1,000, mm. that's what you need to take care of your family. Yeah. But you do not have the courage to make an admission to your family your wife and your children, then my income is 1000 hmm. So you try to deceive them by trying to, to, to show a lifestyle hmm. that is a 5,000 city lifestyle mm -hmm. or 10,000 city lifestyle, and you are deceiving your, your children. So for example, instead of telling your child that, listen, I have 1,000 city and we need to be able to use that and live within that, you let your children do things way beyond thinking that you are going to be popular hmm. by it. That is a tragedy that this nation has faced. So, you have politicians who simply do not have the courage to say, listen, this is what income level we have, and therefore this is what we can do. Mm. So, for instance, there are things that you are expecting us to do. If we want to do them, we'll crash the economy. Mm -hmm. Co lack of courage to tell that truth is what is making a lot of the problem that we are seeing today. So, for example, our friends came into office, mm -hmm. and when they came into office, they lied to this country, for example, that taxation is a lazy man's approach. Absolutely. Meaning exactly. you don't really need to tax. Oh, you don't even need to borrow. The money is here. The money is here. Deception. Grand deception. Because they believe that you can deceive people and take power. You can deceive them and keep power. Because they don't love the country enough to understand that if you love a country, you need to have the courage to tell the truth. Even if some of them may be angry, at least tell them the truth. Your children prefer for you to tell them the truth than to lie to them and later on you crush everything. They actually will have you, they will think that you are a very wicked person once they get to know that you are lying to them as a father. Mm. And that is what has happened. So for instance, so they lie about taxation, they lie about borrowing, and then within no time, they actually started imposing taxes. They started borrowing far more than any government in the history of our country. And in the midst of all those, those issues, when, for example, deficit, which you call, you are, let's say, when you, are, when you are spending far more than you are earning, meaning you're having deficit, mm -hmm. which actually is going to bring you trouble. When we pointed out, let's say, you are building deficit, say, no, 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 we are not building deficit. So they are hiding deficit. Every time there is a problem, then they hide it. Because they actually believe that you can continue deceiving the people. Mm. That is the root of the matter. So the problem you are seeing today is simply somebody who has lied and lied and lied. Like we, like we say in local parlance, when you continue deceiving people that your mother is not there, <laughs> a time is going to come when the rottenness will come and everybody will know that is exactly what is going but, on. But today. is it also not?